Charlie Gawley and Doug Ferber are with us from Thailand. Charlie is in Perth, Australia, and Doug's in Dallas, Texas. Gentlemen, hello. Hello. Howdy. Good morning and uh, from evening here in Perth. Well, uh, Doug, the gateway is what we're talking about uh, today. Can you provide a, a quick overview for us of this new Thailand codec? Yeah, absolutely. First, Paul, we hope that you and your family and friends and everybody in the radio world are, are dodging the virus and staying vigilant and, and giving attaboy to the frontline people that you know. Um, yeah, so Charlie and I are, are here to talk about the, the uh, gateway and the process of introducing it to the world. Um, uh, the, the, it's going to own the spot uh, as the industry's highest density DSP-based codec uh, in one rack unit. Uh, we've been busy coding and doing a lot of research, um, and overwhelmingly what we found is that our research indicated that our customers wanted a component that can be a gateway to the outside world uh, of the public internet that separates sites and the inside world of the AOIP studio on-air network. Um, one of the biggest considerations uh, in developing the gateway was not to have too many eggs in one basket. Um, we believe that with 16 mono or eight stereo codecs in one box, we've hit the sweet spot. Uh, the gateway is engineered such that you can start with a lower amount of channels and license it up to the full 16, giving you, giving you the end user, um, the flexibility to customize the configuration to fit any specific need or channel requirement. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, Charlie, uh, the tie line clearly isn't new to the manufacturing game. You've been doing it for 30 years, code, a lot of rich history with Codex. So how does that history inform what's been designed into this, this new gateway? Thank you, Paul. Uh, we've been doing this IP audio stuff for years. Over the most challenging of unmanaged networks, the public internet or the bad internet as others would call it. Meanwhile, other folks have been doing audio over LANs with managed switches. We were early in the piece with adding WeetNet audio over IP standard into our codex over nine years ago, and this continues today. If we fast forward to today, the industry's come together and agreed upon several interoperable formats, such as AA67 and, and SMPTE 2110 very much like SIP for audio codex back in 2007. Um, we've re leveraged off our knowledge and expertise in, in streaming audio, live audio that is, and listens to what type of an appliance customers wanted to have implemented this ourselves. So what you make is what you code and you have control over. So what we have here is truly, as the name implies, the gateway. Mm. So, uh, well, let's talk about specifics. What, what should we know about uh, this this product specifically? Sure. Well, look, the gateway can sit inside your network and it can be an edge appliance. The gateway is equipped with powerful DSPs and FPGA. You'll find no PC motherboards in here. It's all our own design and, and built in-house. We can stream 16 channels of audio with a wide selection of cascade resilient audio codecs bridging the worlds of audio over IP and streaming audio together with hitless switching of audio packets. With our Smart Stream Plus redundancy, and we have two dedicated streaming Ethernet ports. As we've many customers that are not only in radio, but also in the TV area, we have implemented not only AS67, but also the SMPT21 standard. And this is natively supported straight out of the box and WeetNet as an optional audio card. And in, with that, we support audio packet rates of 125 microseconds, 250, 500, one millisecond and four millisecond audio packet frames, as well as sample rates of 32, 48 kilohertz, 96 and 44.1. Enable us to, this, as a result of this, enables us to be a SMPTE 2110 class A, class AX, B and BX compliant box. And this can be streamed over two dedicated audio over IP ports being SMPTE 2022-7 ready. Forgive me, it's a bit of a mouthful, but there's so much stuff that's in this box. Um, <laughs> that's all right. As you can imagine, you know. So like all of our products we and the architecture that we use, we build in capacity for future functionality um, that customers will want. Well, there's a lot there to, to find out about, uh, and we'll look forward to seeing that product uh, when it's available. Uh, Doug, how, how do you see the gateway fitting into radio network infrastructure, you know, now and down the road? Well, radio has been consolidating since 1996, and that's not going to stop. Um, everybody is looking to do 
more with less. Um, and uh, that applies to uh, operations and equipment as well. So we think that the gateway is perfectly suited for that. Um, uh, it's scalable, uh, high density you know, solution. Um, it's customizable, upgradable, uh, fully remote, controllable, and configurable. Lots of bulls for you know consolidating world for you know one one rack unit can replace several boxes that are in the engineering room now. Mm. Uh, Charlie, the uh, annual cycle of introducing new products has been quite disrupted by the pandemic and and all of the changes with physical trade shows. What do we need to know about when Gateway will be available? Keep an eye out for it this fall. The Great. sooner the better. <laughs> <laughs> well, gentlemen, thank you for joining us today and good luck with the new product. Thank you, Paul. Thanks, Paul.